What happened? A rock fell on him. Don't worry, it's not serious. Then why have they stopped working? They are not robots. They're worried about their lives. I want results, Hans. Not arguments. Weitermachen! Bennett! You got my coat? Come in, sir. Yes, I'm holding on for Mr. Weber. Uh, tell Miss Provan not to worry. I'll be downstairs in a minute. <clears throat> but the curtain is eight sharp, sir. I know what time the opera starts, Bennett. Oh, uh, hello. Well, right. I just thought that yes. taking into account this is Miss Provan's first gala with you, and you are sponsoring the event. Yes, Frank, yes, I know. Well, you fax me your proposals. I'll get them in the morning. Right, goodbye. Mr. Addington's office. Yes, would you hold for one moment, please? Sir? Tell him I'm out. But, sir... Oh, damn it! Bennett, I'm late! Take a message! It's Mr. Yeltsin. Mr. President? Uh, yes, sir. How are you? You don't mean to tell me that the work has stopped? That's superstitious nonsense. Well, I give you my word, if the amber chamber is there, we'll help you to get it out. Yes, I'll look into that immediately, sir, and uh, I'll get right back to you. Uh, get me Professor Kirov. I'm astonished Mr. Yeltsin has a moment to worry about the excavation. Well, keep trying. The amber chamber just happens to be one of Russia's greatest treasures. Yes, I'm still here. Sir, Miss Prevan is waiting in the car downstairs. Yeah. All right, I'll hold. Well, get her back up here. Yes, sir. Plans have changed. the last known photographs of the amber chamber. There are 22 wall panels, furniture, bas-relief, candelabras. It was commissioned by King Frederick of Prussia in 1701 as a gift for the Russian royal family. They set it up in St. Petersburg in 1755, where it remained until the Germans stole it just before the end of World War II. Well, yeah, that's the theory, but all we really know is that it vanished in 1944. But didn't uh, President Yeltsin just announce the world's press that he'd actually found it? Well, he had his government negotiate with the Germans to look for it, and our mining and mineral research company got the contract. Well, that's interesting. You never told me that. Well, the Germans pleaded with us to keep it under wraps. 
The fact of the matter is that they would prefer to forget the whole thing. Yes, and our diggers suddenly stopped work because of certain accidents on the site, blaming some sort of curse. I had a hell of a time persuading President Yeltsin that we're going to get it all going again. So who's in charge of the expedition? Uh, Professor Natasha Kirov of the Moscow Institute. I've left word for her to meet you tomorrow afternoon in Wangenberg. Oh. Right, then I guess we'll be there. I don't care how you do it, Peter. Get to the bottom of it. Don't worry, sir. Trust us. We'll do that. Hello. Hello, good talk. Hello. Hello. Professor Kirov. Oh, Herr Hinkle, you started me. I've been trying to reach you. Everyone's been trying to reach you. There seems to be something wrong with your phone. I know. There was a call from Mr. Raddington. He asked me to tell you his people will be arriving this afternoon. I didn't know he was sending anyone. Apparently, he's eager to have your work continue. Well, unless Mr. Addington is sending an army, I don't know how he can. Hans says there isn't a worker within 100 miles that will go back into those caves. Professor, you have my sympathies, but I did warn you. These caves are dangerous. They should have been sealed years ago in the interest of public safety. Still, oh, I know how much it meant to you to find the amber chamber. If I could help in any way. Maybe you are right. This could be just another wild goose chase. Can I offer you a lift into town? It's getting late and I... No, thank you. I have my own transportation. Very well. And what have you got here? Ah. Now, when you remove this pen from your pocket, it activates the receiver. You'll be able to record conversations maybe 30 feet away, probably even more, given the acoustics in the Black Forest. Oh, that's very clever. Ah, good work, Q. Thank you. This is your chance to get a little culture. Culture? It's like going out to look for the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, well, at least we know that the Amber Chamber exists. But that doesn't mean we have to go looking for it. <laughs> uh, anyway, Mr. Addington wants us to go and check it out. There's been an awful lot of accidents. What are we talking about? Well, they've had two collapsed platforms, a failed generator, two methane explosions, and yesterday they had a fatality. A guy died from a scorpion sting. In Germany? Yeah, not very likely, is it? Not unless he was in a zoo. Exactly. Question. Who wants to sabotage the dig? Well, it could be anyone. Russian factions who want to upstage Yeltsin, mercenaries, treasure hunters, czarist fanatics, and even neo-Nazis. The theory says that the Nazis stole it and sold it to finance the war. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. All the stuff you got here, they got up at the site. I know, but that's for me. Germany has some of the best climbing equipment in the world. Yeah. Aren't you gonna help me? Where's Pete when you need him? It's nice of you to come, but I don't know why you are here or what you can do. Well, I don't know yet either, Professor. Do you mind here? Thanks, Jen. But Mr. Addington is very keen to help, and after all, your president thinks you're onto a winner. My government has already sponsored 12 other digs. And were you in charge of all those expeditions, too? Most of them, yes. By all accounts, this one's showing some promise. So far, all it promises is danger, decays are treacherous. Some of them are thousands of years old, and with the work is gone, there is not much we can do. Hmm. I'm sure you can convince them to come back just to offer them some money. It normally works. But they're convinced that it's cursed. <laughs> Isn't that a little preposterous? They call it the curse of the Amber Chamber. There's no more space. What am I going to do with the rest of the equipment now? Well, why don't you come back and pick it up? Easy for you to say, huh? The Shermo. Did we meet before? This is a small village here. Professor Kirov told me you were coming. Oh. I'm Hans, her foreman. Nice to meet you. Need any help? Oh, no. yes. I have some more equipment. I need to bring it to the camp. Don't worry. I'll take it. Oh, thank you. 
That's what I call a gentleman. He's a little too smooth for my taste. Accidents are to be expected. I don't know why they're so upset. Yeah, well, you do seem to have had more than your fair share. Merely the result of lazy, careless workers. Well, the scorpion, I wouldn't call that lazy and careless. The scorpion came in an equipment crate that wasn't properly checked and sealed before it left Egypt. Doesn't sound a little suspicious, though, to me. Careful. You'll have me thinking you actually believe in the curse. Yes. <laughs> Every day on Lone Star Cinema. Precious Lord, take my hand. Take a child's hand right now. Please call and reach out to a child in desperate need. You can bring hope to a girl like Reina, who sifts through garbage all day just to survive. Precious Lord, take my hand. You can help an orphan like Aceza, whose mother and father died of AIDS. I'm tired. You can save the life of a child like Safi, who is nine years old and weighs only 31 pounds. Through the storm, through the night. All it takes is about a dollar a day. Call now for the photo and story of a child you can help. Precious Lord, Don't put it off because every moment matters to the child who's waiting for you. Please call World Vision and sponsor a child today. Change a life. Change your own. It can happen at any time. The scorching pain of acid reflux. And when it does, I take a moment. And I take Gaviscon. You can actually feel its foaming action as soon as you take it. And since you can count on Gaviscon for fast heartburn relief, it's almost as if it never happened. Gaviscon, and it's gone. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. What happened? What'd I tell you about that drinking and driving? <laughs> Professor. Have you any idea who this vehicle might belong to? No, never seen it before. Sagen Sie, wem gehört dieser Wagen? No, 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 no. Well, it seems like someone's trying to send us a very strong message. How far's the campsite from here? About an hour's drive. Okay, come on, let's go. Pete, I just checked the clutch and the emergency brake. They're good. This was no accident. through to Mr. Sinclair. Yes, well, all right, keep trying. Yes, sir. Uh, hold my calls, will you, Bennett? Yes, sir. You wanted to see me, Mr. Eddington? Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, Miss... Uh, Miss Uh 
Please, please, sit down. I was... I was looking over those proposals that uh, I asked you to review. Uh, they're really, uh, they're really quite extraordinary. You asked my opinions. I tried to see things from your point of view, as well as mine. Yeah, well, that's uh, remarkable, quite remarkable. Perhaps it was a bit presumptuous of me. No, no, not necessarily. But I am curious. Which are the recommendations that you think I would make? The ones in red. Red. I see. And yours are in blue. Yes. Is there a problem? Yes. You see, 50% of the time, yours are better than mine. And 100% of the time, you're right about the ones you think I would make. So you see, I think you're beginning to know me just a little too well. I've been working with you for over a year. I understand business, and uh, fortunately, we have the same standards, Mr. Addington. Then I think you deserve to hire yourself a secretary, Miss Prova. <laughs> is it a promotion? Yes, you might say that it is. Might I say it comes with a raise in pay? Yes, well, uh, uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll talk to accounting in the morning. Huh? Tell me, Professor, what makes you so sure that the Amber Chamber is here? After the breakup of the Soviet Union, certain files came to light. Thanks. KGB files. One of them concerned a young German officer arrested after the war. He was accused of confiscating the Amber Chamber and was imprisoned in a Siberian work camp. Did he confess? He was interrogated many times. As only the KGB can do. <laughs> I would not know about that. All countries have things in their past that are best forgotten, Mr. Stone. This is a lesson my people learned the hard way. What about this German officer? Finally, he broke down and confessed. But each time they tried to learn where the chamber was hidden, he gave coordinates for different locations. And were those locations checked out? All but two, both right here in East Germany. And this one showed the most promise. Why was that? Both locations were scanned with ultrasound. Ultrasound, that's interesting. Yeah, you use it to uh, measure density of matter. And this mountain registered like a piece of Swiss cheese. There's an extensive network of caves and tunnels right under where we are sitting. Nazis build these? No. We believe that they date back thousands of years, but used by the Nazis, perhaps. OK. So when did the accident start happening? As soon as we opened the caves. And that's also when the workers became convinced that the amber chamber was cursed. Like the Tutankhamun treasure. <laughs> I don't believe in curses. Neither do we. So how did the rumor start? The Black Forest has always been a fertile ground for folklore, Mr. Sinclair. Around here, it's a second nature to be superstitious. How true. In the Black Forest, first a man loses his way, then he loses his soul. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Gerhard Hinkle, assistant to the deputy mayor. I'm glad you had a safe journey. Yeah, it was pretty safe. Oh, the unfortunate accident. Well, then you'll be pleased to know the offender has already been located and dealt with. Dealt with? Stupid negligence, forgetting to put on his handbrake. You seem to be a hell of a long way from your office, Mr. Hinkle. I come where there's trouble, don't all deputy mayors. And as Professor Kirov well knows, these caves are nothing but trouble. What do you think about the curse? Curse? <laughs> I'm worried about safety. The tunnels under the mountain are very dangerous. 
a mere noise. Even a simple movement can cause cave in. Yeah, well, thanks for the warning. Will you uh, join us? You plan to stay long? Just as long as it takes us to find out what the hell's going on. Well, then I wish you a short and successful visit. And please don't hesitate to let me know if you need any assistance. But be careful. Shall we? I'm famished. What is it? I don't know. I thought I heard a noise. Maybe I'm just tense. Too many ghost stories. These people are weird enough to put anybody on edge. Damn it, Stone, I thought you were asleep. With both ears open. I guess it's the first time we've actually slept together. I should have to remember that. They say Rasputin held seances in the Ember Chamber. From what I heard, he also held orgies there. Some of his biographers even think he had a cult. Sort of a devil worship, human sacrifices. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna think about Rasputin all night, you'll never sleep. Rasputin may be keeping you awake, but there's definitely something out here. It's about time. Yeah, well, good morning to you too, sir. I've been trying to reach you for hours. The damn thing keeps breaking up. Got any better? A little. I got another call from our Russian friends this morning. I'd very much like to conclude this treasure hunt so we can get on a normal business. Yeah, well, the professor and her foreman believe the accidents could have been just that. The generator that failed was an old Russian model, probably on his last legs anyway, and the poor guy that died from the scorpion bite was pretty much allergic to everything. You don't sound convinced. Yeah, well, not exactly. The professor and I had a pretty close shave in the village yesterday, another so-called accident. Oh, that's damn suspicious. Yeah, well, that's our thought, too. Anyway, we're on our way down to the excavation site now. We'll look into the other accidents, see what they come up with. You do that. Speak to me, Colonel, but give the poor man time to catch his breath. I have an eyewitness. It's a smoke screen. The most engaging shows. The next number series could be our next victim. And the most compelling stars. It could be a hoax. You want to take that chance? Are evidence of great TV. Mystery TV. Brought to you by your neighborhood Kelsey's. Cheers to good food. Moms, are you looking for a complete, wholesome school lunch that's convenient, too? Try Schneider's Smart Lunch. Each lunch bag contains a chicken fajita, bagel, pizza, or chicken taco, along with crispy rice squares and fruit snacks. Smart Lunch bags also contain sweet and dried fruit and 100% fruit juice from concentrate with added vitamin C. Plus, you can add extra items to the compostable, reusable bag. Feel good giving them Schneider's Smart Lunch to help get them through the day. Grand Power, helping you buy better. Look at me. I am in a size 2 again. I'm a 40-year-old mom, and I think I look better than ever. Wow. Last year, I had a baby, gained some weight, 
<laughs> went on Nutrisystem and went from a size 10 to a size 4 again. I love my new body. I look in the mirror and I see this completely different person from who I was before. You can't miss the results of new Nutrisystem Advanced, the weight loss program that helps you eat great and lose weight. My name is Kara and I lost 30 pounds on Nutrisystem. For the first time in a long time, I love to prance around in a bikini. I feel confident, I feel sexier, I feel like I'm me again. Call or go online now to order and start losing weight today. Plus, first time buyers are eligible to get one full week of Nutrisystem meals free. I get to eat five times a day. Wow, the food tastes great. I can't think of any other diet I've tried where I was allowed to eat chocolate and I love chocolate. With the Nutrisystem Advantage, the foods you love, pizza, lasagna, and chocolate are not off limits. I love my new body. So here I am, a grandmother, and I can still look sexy in a bikini. I haven't worn a size four since I was in high school. It is so amazing. Every portion for weight loss Nutrisystem meal is delivered right to your door. You don't have to count, measure, or weigh anything. If you want real results, the kind that let everyone you love see the new you, the real you, then you have to order Nutrisystem today. I love my new body. Thanks, Nutrisystem. Plus, it's affordable. For about $12 a day on our auto delivery program, you'll enjoy portion for weight loss, delicious meals, and your shipping is included. But there's more. First-time buyers are eligible to receive an extra seven breakfasts, seven lunches, seven dinners, and seven desserts. One full week of food absolutely free. I love being a mom, and I love having my body back. I found the new me, and this is the real me. It's so easy. Why stay heavy another day? See how the new new system can change your body and you can get a full week of food absolutely free call now to find out how Hi, Fraulein. Hi. Sleep well? Well, we heard something moving around the camp last night. Probably an animal. Yeah, there's much wildlife in this forest. Yeah, and things are getting a damn sight wilder. You look like you stepped into some culture. Yeah, that's an understatement. Seems as though someone was wandering around last night, arranging another so-called accident. They conveniently misplaced this. Who would do such a thing? Yeah, who indeed? I'm becoming less interested in who and more interested in why. So please, if you'll give me five minutes. I'm very anxious to get down into these caves to find out what the hell is going on. It's very unstable, so watch your step. We believe that during the Ice Age, this may have been a refuge for a primitive tribe. We found some stone spearheads and silexes, possibly Cro-Magnon. Oh, I'm fascinating. I didn't hear about those discoveries. We haven't made them public yet. There is a small dispute between our two governments as to whether the relics belong to the Russians or to the Germans. <laughs> The platform collapsed down this way. The gas leaks occurred further down. That's strange. There are no impurities in the air down here. Ben had put together a neat little gizmo here. Better than army issue. Remember to watch your step. It's very dangerous. Hold it, right there. Gabby! Pete! Oh. 
They must be trapped on the other side. We're on it. We have to go out before the whole tunnel collapses. I got friends in there. I want them out. Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. You go get help. No excuses, no superstitions, no curses, no nothing. You go and get whatever it takes to move this stuff. You got Arrington's number? Use it. For stay still? Because if you don't, I'm gonna do you ugly. No. Stone! Stone! It's no use. We can't possibly get through this by ourselves. Lady, we don't know unless we try. Even if they're alive, there's no telling how much air is left behind all this rock. Dig, lady! Great. There's no air, and what there is is contaminated. When's Hans supposed to get back? He's 40 miles into town. He left over an hour ago. It will take him at least that long to get back with help. Great. You mean that avalanche was triggered by an explosion? Yeah, and rigged by an expert. Well, there must be something in here someone doesn't want us to see. Yeah, and I figured they expected us to be on the outside, not on the inside. Well, okay, let, let's move on the other side anyway. Gabrielle. What? Don't you think our energy would be better used trying to find a way out of here? There's no way out of here, Peter. What are you going to do here? Gabriel? Gabriel? Ah! Exciting. Ex 
exhilarating, intense, every day on Lone Star Cinema. Performance, balance, vitality, fashion. It's time you discover the authentic Q2 bracelet by Q-Ray, the wellness bracelet that's designed to help you play, work, and live better. You can tell the difference after you wear it. It's physical, it's felt, it's not a theory. You can feel it. This is a fantastic product. I never take it off, wear it 24 seven, recommend it to everyone. Whatever it does, it works for me. Like acupuncture, yoga, and Tai Chi, the Q2 wellness bracelet, based on traditional oriental medicine, is designed to naturally balance negative and positive energy forces to achieve a state of chi where you feel and perform at your best. And in just a few seconds, you'll hear how you can try a Q2 wellness bracelet risk-free for 30 days. Performance. Athletes the world over know Q2 as the serious performance bracelet. Look closely and you'll see a Q2 on the wrists of leading professionals in every sport. 2005 was my best season yet. The only thing I changed was getting with Coach Hart and wearing my Q-Ray bracelet. I feel like I've been on top of my game ever since. It's really important to feel balanced and rested as well as energetic. And wearing the Q-Ray, I've noticed that I feel great. Vitality. Millions of Q2 wearers are regular people that simply want to enjoy a healthy and enhanced lifestyle and have discovered the Q2 advantage for energy and vitality. And you will benefit from wearing this product. It's right here. It does work. It's risk-free. It looks great. The ladies love it. What have you got to lose? The Q2 Milano Mesh Bracelet by Q-Ray is now available with a 30-day risk-free trial. Experience what millions of Q2 users are raving about. Call the 800 number below or visit us on the web at q2byqray.ca and see how you can have a Q2 wellness bracelet in a matter of days. Performance, balance, vitality. Call now. Order your Q2. It works! <laughs> time since he's been able to hurt anybody. Let me go easy to conserve your strength. I missed them for the errands. Ed. I really don't know. I got Peter and Gabby buried in a hole here. Now I need something to get them out, and I need it now, Bennett. Can you hear me? Barely, Mr. Stone. You're cutting in and out. I got Gabby and Peter buried in a hole here. Now, I need something to get them out, and I need it now. Mr. Annington will arrange for all the help you need, sir. All right, you just make sure that these people come and know what they're doing. The phone to town is still out of order. Don't worry about that. I got guys coming. I'm afraid it'll be too late. Your phone, Mr. Stone, if you don't mind. And your weapon. And your phone, Professor Kirov. Sometimes history should remain buried in the past. I tried my best to get you to leave things alone, but you persisted. Engel, I got a lot of guys coming here. Well, then you will be history, Mr. Stone. Please, move. What's the story? You want the chamber? On the contrary, Mr. Stone. I intend to make sure the chamber is never found. Is there anything you always dreamed about? <sighs> yeah, I wanted to sail around the world. Attend all the season premieres of the great opera houses. Is there anything you'd do differently? Make a better job of my marriage, for starters. Have kids. It's kind of hard to do if you're sailing around the world and attending operas. <laughs> I trust you to hit the nail on the head. Peter. 
Guess we don't make it out of here. No, no, to your left. Think about what you're doing, Kinkle. I have thought about it for my entire life, and I will do anything to preserve my family's honor. What? what the hell's that? What is it? Damn it, this bloody rat. I hate the damn things. Take it easy. There's a rat that's near. This water. Is that all right? Yeah, it's great. Let's try and follow it, okay? There it is. Damn it, I lost it. Do you see it? This way. Where? Where? I don't see it. Here. Here we go. Well, at least the air's better in here. Yeah. Gabrielle. A piece of not so ancient history. generator oh yeah okay let's see if German technology is everything it's cracked up to be <laughs> Peter. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it was worth a try. I found a diary. Mm -hmm. Montag, March, der 24. Heute is my Geburtstag. I'm afraid my German isn't what it used to be. I'm sorry. And Monday, March the 24. Today is my birthday. I'm 19. And I'm scared. I don't want to die. The whole area is being heavily bombarded. Dieter says the enemy is closing in on us. And rumors say we have lost the war. If that's true, why are they keeping us down here? Wednesday, March 28th. Sometimes I think the commandant has gone mad. The last two weeks, all we've done is place booby traps everywhere. Didn't you say that detonator you found was modern? Yeah. You know, I think we may be dealing with a pair of evils here. Quite clearly, the Germans booby trapped this to protect whatever was down here. At the Amber Chamber, for instance. Yeah, most likely. Or somebody else more recently has booby-trapped it to keep everybody out. You know, this place pretty good, Hink. I spent much time in these caves, you see? The soldiers sent to Siberia and brutally tortured by you, barbaric Russians, was my father. He was a commandant in charge of hiding the Amber Chamber. But that part of our family history was laid to rest when he died. So now you're about to become front page news. Something I will not allow to happen, Mr. Stone. We didn't know the Commandant would wall us in, so we would die here. Today is the fifth day. That kid was 19. And he was buried alive. All that for what? To keep a stupid treasure. There he goes.
We keep going deeper. Yeah, we don't have any other choice. Here, take this. Stand back. Here. Yeah, I can't see anything either. So what do you think? I've got a hairpin. What have you got? I've got a terrific headache. Are you going to write your memoir? No. But we may live to write them. Here, take this. It's the last thing you will ever see. Glad you could make it, guys. What the hell's going on here, Stone? It's the guy with the gun. So, my cave-in didn't finish you. Never mind. I will rectify that problem. Nice shot, Hans. Yes, Hans. Very good work. Just goes to show. Can't trust anybody nowadays, can you? Thank you for finding the treasure for me. You've made me very rich. So, you arranged all the accidents and started the rumor. When I discovered that the Amber Chamber was here, we had to scare the workers off. 
And then you were going to announce to the world that it didn't exist and sell it on the black market as the highest bidder. Very clever, Professor. This treasure belongs to Russia. I thought you cared about your people. My people allowed weak-willed politicians to turn our great empire into a decaying mess. I owe them nothing but contempt. It was I who searched for years. I who believed when others scoffed. The treasure belongs to me. No, don't do that! thing is cursed. <laughs> then I discovered that the Amber Chamber was here. We had to scare the workers off. My people allowed weak-willed politicians to turn our great empire into a decaying mess. I owe them nothing but contempt. It's a very neat little gadget you got for us, Mr. Bennett. I'm afraid you're going to need another pen. Fortunately, I loaded in a good supply. When do you get in, Peter? Well, we should be in by 10, but I'm afraid the traffic will be pretty horrendous. You think you can make it by noon? I've got a little matter I want to discuss with you about Zimbabwe. Yes, sir, I think we can manage that. <sighs> yeah, I think we can get on with that correspondence now, Miss Privet. Oh, it won't be necessary. Oh? I've answered it. Any calls? Nothing I couldn't handle. Slow day. No, actually, it's been very busy. Anything you need, I'm off to the bank. Oh, I suppose not. I know you're sharing this wonderful experience together. But I cooked this, you know? As long as there are such things as myths and hidden treasures, man will leave no stone unturned to hunt them out.